Adventure Sprite with a Punk Package. Sure, man. I, I love to see innovation out here, but really, five Sprite decks and a top cut for a regional? Oh my gosh, what an absurd number. Don't make 30% of you guys have not smashed the crap out of the subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up the 100k ladder here. As you just heard me say, the Columbus Regional out of this past weekend had 260 duels. Actually, relatively smaller for Columbus Regional, but your biggest representation was Holy Mother Sprite. Five Sprite decks taking down the top cut for this. And interesting enough, there were two branded Eldritch decks that held on for dear life here in between like the span wasteland that is, you know, Sprite. And we also had a Dragon Link deck holding on as well here. So your old meta still is doing its thing here. But in terms of like your regionals out of all last weekend, so many really innovative and strange things for the rogue categories that really, I, I think, just shocked people and what they could do in terms of fully on. Let's pass on over to deck list. Winning the regional was none other than Adventure Punk with your Sprite Package. But remember, you don't get locked until certain interactions for this deck, which makes this deck particularly scary. I believe that this is also Charlie that ended up winning this regional, showcasing the fact that, you know, you can combine all of these particular like engine cards together and achieve relatively good results because so many more people have been on you know your pure version of this deck for a little while now and it definitely is going to show right now that you know you have so much power and so much like combo advantage that this particular variant is able to you know poop out versus the other variants i mean obviously we're right back on the artifact good stuff package here. Anytime, you know, Scythe and Dagda are going to be involved, it's always just going to be a fun time, man. Like, that's just modern era Yu-Gi-Oh in a nutshell for you. So good stuff. I'm very happy to see that this variant took down first. So moving along, we now go on back to regular old Sprite. Ah, this is the boring old... Nah, this, is, this has become the pretty big norm at this point in time. You do see, you know, your standard advantage train here. Um, a lot of builds have been choosing between you know talents versus dark rule no more so in a variant like this where things feel you know way more streamlined yeah this has by far been the go-to variant you know and things like a point or the red lotus down here making their way into this yeah this is standard sprite if standard sprite was to be coined a term so good stuff so we move on along here we have our first eldritch list hmm we're playing the Gizmek Orochi in this. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I guess like the concept of having this in this deck is all right. I mean, it facilitates an extra body on the field, allows this deck to further push for game. But my only like other big concern is, is how much of our deck are we gonna be fueling for this thing? Because you know, once you start grinding through those Eldritch spells and traps, it's not gonna feel too good. Um, after a little while. So that's like my biggest like genuine concern here is, you know, as you're sifting through burning to fuel the monster, um, how much is it worth it? But outside of that, this feels like a very standard anti-meta grind for the most part. So once again, very happy to see that stuff like this is doing well in the format. Oh boy, Sprite with Psychic Jumper. Yes. Once per turn you pay a thousand life points, target one face monster opponent controls, and one Psychic Monster you control, except for Psychic Jumper. Hmm. You know, you have, uh, <laughs> you have some little things that you can do with this, and you can swap them. Alright, and then if you do, their battle positions cannot be changed. Okay, it's a level two tuner monster that basically facilitates some uh, very underhanded tactics here of swapping monster boards. I think that this is one of the coolest little innovations that we have seen overall so far 
for these particular sprite decks because if you can tech in something like Psychic Jumper and get away with it on the regional level, I think that that by far warrants a big W. So I'm happy to see Psychic Jumper getting to see some play out here, man. That's freaking hilarious to me. Next up here is our next Eldritch List. Now, this feels a little bit more normal to me. You know, we've cut back on No Gizmek, which we just saw, which I'm still a little bit oof about that. Standard into your packages with Ecclesia. I do like the fact that Ecclesia has kind of returned back to being like the norm for this deck. 27 trap cards. I still think a lot of people are going to have a little bit hard time swallowing that. A lot of people, like, I kind of want to step back from that. You know, also D Barrier is seeing some love in this build, which really, really, really tells me a lot about how the format is kind of still shaping up here. You know, you can still flip D Barrier and win games just strictly based off of its existence. All right, like, unfortunately, Sprite still has to exceed Summon, or, yeah, XYZ Summon, in order to, you know, build its big advantage trees. So, flip that, call exceed, you're pretty much good to go. Ah, here's our Dragon Link deck. Hoo-wee! That is the, uh... It is Aether down there. I haven't seen Aether show up in a, at all, actually, in a while. Uh, I'm just going to put this into, like, proportion for you here, or my, my straight on mistake of this. You look at this list on paper, this feels like the most normal Dragon Link deck in the world. You notice, know, like, Tiding and all of them have just taken a huge back seat. It's because those cards didn't end up being, like, super good anymore. Like, this deck has evolved past the point of needing Tiding and things like that. I really wish, you know, they were a little bit better, but... Unfortunately, they failed the test of time. Next up here, ah, wow, we really have all the Sprite variants here, man. All right, so Sprite for seventh place here is back to playing the opening of the Dark Gates with the Dark Beckoning Beast. Hey, don't have to afford Deep Sea Divas if you can do the same little package here and generate um, a little bit different advantage chicken nuggies for this build. Um, outside of that, still same Sprite goodness overall, man. And then eighth place here, more Sprite. He had five Sprite decks in this top cut, man. Like, I, I can't actually believe how much Sprite you can pack into a regional. Also, you notice, like, Triple Elf was becoming, like, a super big norm here. Like, I, I feel like Triple Sprite Elf is definitely the way to go here. Like, this card just massively, massively, massively generates so much advantage. Just having all the free copies in the world to generate on the back burner feels really good. Now... Ninth place, we found our first tier elements list out here. Now, the thing I like about this list, we're actually playing Offerings to the Doom. I don't know how many of you guys have like paid attention to Offerings right now, but this card, in very niche situations, has really been taking a lot of people off guard. And I think that's a good thing. I think when you can have something like this running around in the format that can just show up you know, detour players, it's very, very good. I also see that we're playing uh, one Meta Noise and one Solic, and then we're citing additional Solics and one Crime here. Uh, we also have the Galaxy Cyclones down here in the side deck as access cards that we can pull up here as saving graces in the format. Also, one love the one Absolute King here, just showing up. Just the one, by the way. And of course, we do have Albaz in here basically to facilitate, you know, make Albalanitis for additional searching or, you know, access to Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade is still a powerful, powerful card. Tenth place here, also another Tier Elements deck. It's actually a shame that both Tier Elements decks here unfortunately just hit the wall outside of missing that top cut because Sprite was, you know, even better. But I do think it's very important to do take note of these, though, that they were able to hit this particular high placing like definitely within top 16 especially ninth and 10th place in terms of representation is good also you know shout out to deck devastation virus here you set up just like these huge fields and you're good to go do keep in mind that a lot of the albaz variants that a lot of people were like so sure that this deck was going to head towards just ended up not merging with it um we definitely did not see levels of innovation towards that, which was actually kind of interesting. I figured that we would head towards that particular wall a little bit better, but we've just dodged it for the longest time, so interesting. And then last but not least here, top 64. 
an actual Punk 3 on deck. You know what, I'm gonna clap for this one because after everything was said and done here, and you know, we've already shifted towards the onslaught of power creep here. You know, one of the former best decks out of last format is now sitting down here struggling to kind of keep up. But I am happy to see, you know, in terms of innovation for this deck, you have the TC Boos that are doing their thing. You have, you know, still Scythe Lock. Of course, like, you're, why would you not want to play Scythe Lock, man? Like, this is like the hard carry for this deck. Like, the particulars for this are the reason why a deck like this is still able to hold on and do its thing. <laughs> it's almost like it's the whole dedication of the format. So, uh, what do you guys think about this innovation? I mean, it's just Sprite format all over again. What do you guys think? Please, so comment down below, tell me what you're saying, make sure you guys smash the crap out of subscribe button. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.